All right, uh, let's look at something linked to gender parity. Gauteng Economic Development MEC Gotsienzo Romagopa has stepped down to meet cabinet gender party requirements. He's uh, parity requirements, rather. He's been replaced by Marukane Masupio, uh, former MMC from the city of Chwane. The ANC National Executive Committee's resolution on gender parity states that where a male is premier in a province like in Gauteng, his cabinet has to be 60 40 representation that means leaning towards female representation dr ramachopa joins us now from our pretoria studios uh, doctor thank you very much uh, so are you already a, a former mec is your uh, resignation as it were in effect already oh yes uh, good evening francis and good evening to the viewers yes indeed uh, i have uh, stepped down as uh, the mec for economic development and agriculture here in the uh, in Gauteng to make possible the resolution of the National Executive Committee that there should be 60% uh, women representation in the Executive Committee of uh, Gauteng. And I think this is necessary, just one, to reassert the fact that uh, Gauteng is uh, committed to the struggles of women and their affirmation. And this uh, uh, articulation was led by uh, the Premier and the Provincial Executive Committee that there's a need for us to demonstrate uh, uh, our commitment to this resolve. And secondly, we thought that um, um, the, the failure to comply with this requirement might perpetuate a narrative that there's uh, something called the Houting exceptionalism. We don't think that there should be different uh, sets of uh, um, regulations that they apply in other provinces uh, from that which is applying here in Gauteng. So it's a demonstration of our commitment to that resolve. And this charge and effort has been led by the Premier also in his capacity as the chair of the province. Um, we're looking forward to um, MEC Marakani to being part of the collective to ensuring that we meet um, our commitment as promised in the manifesto and also codified in our 100 days plan uh, that the premier will be unveiling i think in the next two weeks all right so it sounds like you stepped down happily uh, was there any disappointment that that you were the chosen male to have to leave to make way for a, a female mec now as indicated i think it was voluntary um, i i am of the opinion that uh, we need to ensure that uh, the premier and the executive of uh, Gauteng, that is uh, the cabinet focus uh, all its uh, energies and resources to discharging and prosecuting a plan called Houting, growing Houting together. And I don't think that there should be a distraction around uh, um, any allegation that uh, Houting is not committed to the struggle to affirm women. Uh, Houting uh, thinks of itself as uh, an exceptional case. I think the focus must be solely about uh, ameliorating the conditions of living of our people, advancing the, the, the agenda of uh, radical uh, socio-economic transformation. And I think that uh, with this step now, the focus is on, on delivering that agenda. Yeah. The cabinet is not weaker, the legislation, the caucus of the ANC is not uh, weaker with the inclusion of uh, um, MEC Marakan in the executive. I've worked with her before in my previous capacity as the mayor, she was the MM MMC and subsequently the speaker. So we have full confidence in her. We have, uh, this, uh, she's got all our support and remember that she works within uh, a dispensation of a collective. Yeah. Uh, there are MECs there that, if you like, are veteran MECs that are there for the second term. They've got an appreciation of uh, how uh, the, the machinery works at provincial government. They'll nurture and assist as I was assisted myself because it was my first stint at the provincial government. So we have done um, tremendous work together with the competent and able um, uh, bureaucrats uh, in the department and I'm sure that they're going to lend the necessary support to the new MEC in the same manner that they did uh, to me. All right, and, and it seems like it's certainly not the end of, of the road in terms of political deployments for you. Uh, there is talk that you were chosen because you are the most redeployable, uh, that maybe there's a national post uh, for you in the offing, uh, maybe even uh, because uh, there's uh, a vacancy now in terms of, I think, the mineral uh, resources sector. Where are you going next? Can you tell us? Oh, remember that the offer to resign is not on condition of uh, some future prospect of deployment. 
is not pro quit procure so there's no expectation really going forward so i'm going to continue to discharge uh, my responsibilities as a member of the provincial executive committee provincial uh, working committee and then also apply my skills uh, go back to my uh, practice as a civil engineer and continue to um, uh, contribute on that front if the anc needs a uh, determination in the future feels like the there's a, an, a, a deployment that uh, it's appropriate for me to consider. I'll most certainly do that. I mean, I've uh, cherished the, the period I've spent in uh, public service, uh, giving my energies, uh, my intellectual faculties to ensure that uh, we contribute towards uh, the improvement of the quality and lived experiences of our people. If I'm called to do so, I'm going to do so. So this uh, action really is not out of uh, some expectations. So there are no trade-offs. It's just how uh, recommitting itself to the struggles for women, ensuring that uh, we remain within the totality of the discipline of the ANC, that the ANC is indivisible, and we are demonstrating that uh, discipline under the stewardship of the Premier, who is also the chairperson of the ANC in Gauteng. All right, uh, well, we'll follow your future career. We have to leave it there. That was former, now former Gauteng Economic Development MEC, Gautien So Ramakhopa.